guys here we are can you believe it we're only 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 seven days away from the 12th u.s spiritist symposium yes in one week we're going to be there together in washington dc it's the dream of our dreams it is i wish i could interview chico xavier i'm not kidding i bet if I ask him, Chico Xavier, what is your dream in terms of the dissemination of the Spiritist teachings? He would probably say, talking about it in Washington, D.C. I have no doubt about it because for him, it was a dream to bring Spiritism to the United States of America. It was a dream to see Spiritism flowing into English. I have his letters between Haddad and himself, and Phyllis, and he often mentioned about the importance of doing this in English and bringing it to the United States of America, and here we are. It's a dream come true. It's going to be April 21st, 2018, and we're going to finally be in the capital of all capitals in this world nowadays. Yes, that's what it is, with all the respect with no pride, but a lot of love, because this is the brain, the brain of our planet. And when we get to the command, the central command of it with spiritism, it's a sign that the world is changing and doesn't change alone. We have a beautiful network of friends we may be living in different states, different countries, different continents, but we're not alone. And so much so that I'm not alone here either to talk about this. We're bringing here with us our dear friend, Sunshine, who comes from near Sacramento, California. Right, Sunshine? How are you? Excellent. Thank you, Vanessa. Thank you for having me. You, thank you. Thank it's you. a dream because you're often on the other side and now you're here with us. <laughs> I know. It's so true. I never thought it would happen. I love it. It's great. Yeah. It feels good, right? But there is one more person yeah. at, in the incarnate level that this carnate only God knows. But here yeah. she is. Carol Correa is with us. Hello, friend. We right again. <laughs> right, Carol. Right. Often on the other side, sunshine is here exactly. on this side. Exactly. <laughs> the sun is definitely shining. <laughs> shining through beautifully. Oh, right. right. And you see, Aiden just wrote to us saying he is going. <gasps> Congratulations, Aiden. I look forward to giving you a super big hug and congratulating you for the courage to do the good. I have no doubt that we're bringing our candle lights in our heart and shining it brightly in the capital of this country. We need it more than ever, right, Sunshine? Yeah. How do you feel? You come to this country, you embrace it as your nation. Now you're spiritist in this country. How do you feel spiritism can be of help in this very hour? Oh, this is one of the most critical hours from my perspective. So the help, all the help we can give is so important. I mean, we know what's going on politically. We know that this, that our earth is on probation, that this is the moment for us to redeem ourselves as a whole world is a planet. So to have a meeting in the capital of the United States, which happens to be the brain of the world, is pivotal. So for all of us to pack up and go and support the good spirits who are really paving our way to have this meeting, right? Yes. It's so important from my perspective. So that's why I'm packing up to be there all the way from California. <laughs> Yay! Bring the sun, sunshine. It's already warm here, I tell you that. It feels like California already. <laughs> I can't look forward to it. Yes, but sunshine, we have this year a beautiful program 
that is titled Enlightening Answers to Our Daily Questions. And uh, we're going to talk about different topics that are so needed nowadays, and especially, for example, peacemaking skills. We are at the at this very moment that is so uh, critical in the world, but not only externally, in our families, in our neighborhoods, in our communities, everywhere, peace is more needed nowadays than ever because now we have more tools. Mm -hmm. Not only tools talking about nuclear bombs, no, no, no. We're talking about social media as well. In a split second, I can change my life completely depending on what I tweet, what I do on Instagram or what I post on Facebook or if somebody videotape me doing whatever and it becomes viral, right? Yes. So how do you feel as a spiritist in terms of our responsibility? I think our responsibility is huge, huge. It starts really with our thinking, right? What do we think? And that emanates an energy already into our close neighborhood, but our families, our home, you know, our cities, our, you know, even state. But when it comes to social media, where with a click of a button, we can create many concepts and put them into writing, calcify them in a medium that goes all over the world, potentially, it's very, very scary if you think about it. So in order to to not to be vigilant and conscious about what we're sending out, we who are practicing spiritism are particularly called on to see what we have in our minds. Are we coming from a peaceful place? Are we in the good spirits? What often I ask myself, would Jesus do that? And the answer most of the time is no. So then I personally was told <laughs> posting, saying, liking, disliking, putting emojis out. So it, it's really hard work because the temptation is there, isn't it? We have all of this at our fingertips these days. Yes. So practice is more important than ever from my perspective. Mm -hmm. You're right. And talking about practice, you were able to be at a previous spiritist symposium, yes. the one in San Diego two years ago. Right. Would you like to give the ones who are watching as a, an overview about your experience? It must have been good because you're coming back. Yes, and not right? only back, I'm doing more work than ever these days, which I enjoy so deeply. But, you know, this particular symposium, which was my first one, was pivotal. Because the minute I entered just the entrance area, I felt hugged. I felt enveloped by love. And not only from all the incarnates who greeted me with so much um, attention and kindness and love, I want to say, but it was just the whole energy, the spirits who were there. It just transformed me instantly. And that was just upon entering. And then when I sat in the room and listened to all the beautiful, very eye-opening and educational and heart-opening messages from all of you guys and putting so much energy and beauty into it, I was just at all. I, I had tears in my eyes throughout the day. That particular event turned my life around because it committed me in a new way to spiritism. You know, most of you maybe don't know, I've only been in this lifetime acquainted with spiritism for 12 years and didn't even actually start studying until probably six or seven years. So it has been fairly recent in this lifetime. It feels like I've always yeah. been spiritism on a yeah. deeper level, but in this lifetime in my mental realm, it's mm -hmm. so new. And so that particular event, I can only recommend it that people who are even not so acquainted with spiritism or not so sure about it to go to get the energy to get the information it's just an awesome opportunity to soak it up 
Oh, love it. Oh, we feel like we want the seven days to go faster now. <laughs> <laughs> right yeah. but there's so much yet to prepare oh my god right carol right. so you care you have been to quite a few nowadays i know yes. you've been with us here before but talking about this very um this very opportunity yeah. you want to say something as well sure. about uh, the beauty of it like sunshine said i think this is a one in a lifetime opportunity that thankfully comes once a year <laughs> because we are consciously given the opportunity to choose to be co-creators with god god didn't give us this physical body just because god gave us this beautiful body in order for us to fulfill a mission. What mission? St. Augustine says it very clearly in the gospel, according to Spiritism. Uh, our mission is to learn to connect and to love God. And Jesus, our master, has said, we cannot love God unless we learn to love ourselves and learn to love our fellow beings. And this is the ultimate opportunity to learn to love our fellow beings because as sunshine beautifully said and i think none of us could have said it any better mm -hmm. we feel hugged and loved even before we get there <laughs> right i feel it through the waves of facebook already mm -hmm. i want a dish to fly mm -hmm. and then once we get there we have this beautiful community in both realms of life welcoming us and loving us and cherishing us and throughout the day like sunshine said we have many opportunities to nourish our souls and, and to love that and jesus himself has said it's not enough to know it's very important to feel and this, this is the ultimate opportunity to feel christ jesus's love for each and every one of us this is his personal calling for us and where else could we go where in one day just one single day we learn about peacemaking skills we learn about techniques for education of youth and children we learn about well-being in many multi-dimensions we learn about ourselves and as immortal beings how could we pass this up ever yeah. Yeah. in english in washington dc yeah. so it can't get any better than that no and it's gonna be memorable yeah. memorable but you know i want to mention something yeah. here carol mentioned and also sunshine the power the power of togetherness there is a molecule not only one but oxytocin inside of us that boosts this feeling of bonding. It's when we feel at ease. It's when we feel connected. So when we are in this togetherness feeling, our physiology changes. And science, science has proved that more important than your cholesterol is the number of people you're friends with. They say the people better are those who really have a greater circle of friendship. And it's not only like 10,000 friends, but they're not really friends. We're really talking about this like-minded friendship. Or as our friend John De Rosa says, this eternal friendship. Because here we are building something that is going to last forever. So that also enhances the quality of our life. No wonder Jesus recommended make friends. It's important. It's the law of God. So when people ask me, sunshine, why should I go? I can watch it online. Stop this online. Close your laptop. Not now. <laughs> or turn off your cell phone and meet people in the flesh because yeah. you're incarnated. <laughs> there is a different feeling as uh, Sunshine was mentioned and Carol, hug people. Of course, uh, pure kindness, but hug. 
be together physically. That's why many people are becoming depressed and anxious because we're decreasing the human contact and we're increasing this high tech intensity in our lives. So right now, this is one of the things that probably we will address one of these days as science goes to a new level in spiritism as well. We will discuss the importance of not losing this human touch. It's the law of society. Yeah. We need to be there present. Jesus didn't send the masters and said, well, I'm telling you, remember, <laughs> he came in the flesh. And there is a particular power in being physically present. Yeah. Can, right? Yeah. Can I say something to that? Of course. Yeah. So, as I mentioned, I was at the Spiritist Symposium two years ago and had this amazing experience, exactly what you were both describing. But then last year I had booked my flight and everything went wrong with my flights and I ended up not going to Florida. I know. So I ended up watching and listening to the lectures online and it was just, it, 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 it paled in comparison. It's just absolutely not even close to when you are there physically, as you had said, hugging people, getting to know them, being in each in our each other's energy field, you know, connecting. Jesus said, if there's more than two that gather in my name, I will be there. There is really so much truth in it. It's it's palpable, the feeling of all of us being together at that meeting. So for anyone who is considering, oh, I can listen to it online, it's not even close the same. Because it's not just for the, about the intellectual information, right? It's about the feeling. And the feeling really happens when we all get together and sit yes. in one room and talk to each other, smile at each other, and hug each other. That's where it is. Yes, you're right. And you know, when you're talking, you're an educator, right? Mm -hmm. Carol as well. And uh, Professor Euripides Barsanufo, in his philosophy of it, says, uh, pretty much what Jesus recommend we need to feel so in his educational method he really uh, prioritizes the five senses mm -hmm. the sensorial experience as the first door to the spirit because there is a reason why we're incarnated mm -hmm. sometimes we see people who are incarnated they become spiritists or spiritualists or spiritual people they say and they care less about the physical body it's like the body doesn't matter anymore right. and that's the fallacy of it all because the first and most blessed temple and the first duty of ours is the physical body and through the physical body there is a magical input that may change us yes right exactly it's our first and foremost our temple Yes, the body. So it's very important. We must not forget about it. It's so easy to forget because we have, you know, your beautiful every night classes, you know, thank God we have this medium of Facebook and the computers. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we need to, when there are opportunities to get together, we should really take advantage of them. And there's not that many spiritists in this country yet. So it's really a rarity for us all to come together, right? like-minded mm -hmm. it doesn't happen too often once a year as carol said before and this is our big opportunity and it's in the capital of the united states which mm -hmm. is so much darkness is happening these days right mm -hmm. yes so, extra priceless. to bring light into it and next year it's gonna be there in yes. your lands yeah. <laughs> in san francisco right yes Yes, that'll be nice yes. too. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. As yeah. soon as we finish one, the next one, the preparation <laughs> begins. <so. laughs> we video tomorrow at our center to get a little video together for the end of our meeting on Saturday. Uh -huh. you know, invite everyone to California. 
That's beautiful, right? There. We said it together. So let me try to beautiful. squeeze us all in here. Oh, no. And uh, beautiful. Because right now, let us call Emmanuel. Thank God his, uh, his thoughts are in a book like Living Spring. And this is uh, the message we selected tonight that shall represent the impact of spiritism in our lives. This power of renewal. He says, chapter 141, 141 of the book Living Spring. He says, renew yourself always. And it's very important because we wake up and we tend to be on the same old habits. Yeah. And how are we going to progress if we don't try something new, at least one new thing every day? It, it's not only once a year. It's every day. Right? Yes. No wonder I call her in spirit as my heart. She's saying... She said, uh, you know, no wonder we need many reincarnations uh -huh. because we practice doing the same mode every day. Yeah. <laughs> and that's true. Yeah. So Emmanuel says, quoting from Paul to 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 16. Each day, or actually he says, even though our outward man is wasting away, our inner is being renewed day by day. Each day has a lesson for us. Each experience leaves behind its corresponding value. Each problem entails a determined objective. There are those who, tormented by counterproductive fears, express their rebelliousness. When faced with infirmity, poverty, disillusionment, or old age. And then he keeps going on and on, and he says, remember that tomorrow, the day will return to your arena of work. Stand firm in your era of area of service, teaching your mind to accept God's will. And then he goes by, Sickness, scarcity, disappointment, and aging. And at the end, he says, be optimistic and diligent in the good amidst confidence and joy. For while the envelope, the envelope of flesh gradually wastes away, the imperishable soul renews itself moment by moment for life everlasting. What do we carry from this life to the next? Trips like this for Spirit Symposium. These are things we'll carry in our hearts for immortality. But if I say, I'm not going to spend this money because I'm going to buy a new car. Oh, well, we don't take the car. Neither the money. Yeah. So we understand the needs of doing this, that, and the other. But we're being called to prioritizing experiences, relationships, and charitable work. Loving action. Right? right. What does come to your mind, Sunshine, when you hear Emmanuel's uh, recommendations? Well, you know, just going to the, to the symposium is a charitable act because we're contributing our minds and our energies to the light, to, the, to a good cause. We're connecting our will with God's will and hopefully generate a lot of light-filled energy. So that idea is a very charitable act to go. And, you know, I'm reminded um, there have been some situations in my life, particularly going to John of God at some point, where I didn't have the money and I just scraped it together and I went and boy, by giving we receive. So if we give a little today, even if it's just giving to ourselves to get a plane ticket, mm -hmm. we will receive a lot back and we will feel good about ourselves because we will have contributed to a really good cause. 
which is important for the whole planet. Yes, I agree with you. Right, Carol? Yes, right? And you, when you hear Emmanuel saying those, uh, renew yourself always. I think of the symposium. <laughs> the symposium has enlightened answers to our daily questions. So by listening to these enlightened answers, we are renewing ourselves. We are creating new neural pathways, which, by the way, I learned from you, <laughs> <laughs> by exposing ourselves to new information. And in the Spirit's book, we see the illuminated minds when Kardec asks, what's the best way for us to progress? The answer is, know thyself, right. meaning acquire knowledge that will free yourselves from your old habits, and renew yourself mm -hmm. in order to reach liberation for your spirit. So what yep. better place than to go to the symposium? Mm -hmm. Every enlightened answer to one of our many, many, many daily questions is an opportunity for us to renew ourselves from the inside right. out. Exactly. And, and as we yeah, go ahead. The port, hopefully, that we wake up after the symposium every day with a new impulse that we can yes. our daily lives that we can bring into our families our groups our community right because the work afterwards continues so we get all this energy and then we can take it to our immediate neighborhood exactly and for those who are coming even if they are saying oh i'm just attending no no you are here also to bring the candle light in your heart because through your beautiful thoughts, through your beautiful smile, through your approach, through your presence, we can join forces and pray for a greater balance in our planet. So we're closer than ever to really doing our part mm -hmm. at this very moment, right? Mm -hmm. So right now, before we wrap up with our prayer, we want to remind everybody, on April 18th, three days before the symposium, we will be streaming for 24 hours at Kardec Radio in partnership with the, uh, the United States Spiritist Federation. We'll be streaming 24 hours of prayers and messages on what we call the National Day of Spiritism. If you want to participate, and we hope you all participate, by recording, you can use your phone, record in English, of course, a message of any of these books. You can read it, say a prayer from the heart, or you can read a prayer. It's okay, as long as it's in English. Or you can just read the message and send it to info at spiritist.org, dot US, sorry. And once you send it, we will be able to bring, if, if you, I got confused with the email, just go cardiacradio at gmail.com because <laughs> that is an email I know for sure by heart. You can send it to us and we will compile the 24 hour of uh, recordings okay but that day at 11 p.m we'll be here live we'll be here live uh, doing the prayer as well as we do the program on the countdown right so right now we would like to ask sunshine to lead our prayer is that okay sunshine yes, yes. all right thank you sunshine i'm gonna play the ave marie okay okay Dear Mother, Father, God, dear, dearest, beloved Jesus, our guide and model, we also connect with all the light spirits, all the spirit doctors, our mentors. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts for having this opportunity to unite in the United States under the umbrella of Jesus' guidance. 
to unite our hearts, to connect mentally, to elevate our spirits, to nourish our souls, so that we may be a catalyst, a support for the good spirits to help this planet move into a loving, more charitable direction. Let us all open our hearts and minds to come to the capital of the United States to support the efforts that have been happening for a long time, both on the incarnate as well as discarnate level. We are called, as spiritists, we are called to do this, to renew ourselves, to support the world, to take the light back into our communities. And we are grateful for everyone who has paved the way and brought the loving teachings in the English language to us. With so much gratitude and more love, we are looking forward to you uniting in a few days. And thank you for bringing us all together and synchronizing our minds and hearts already. So be it. Amen. Thank you, Sunshine. Thank you so much for having me. I can't wait to see you in a few days. Yeah, we uh, do. Too. Finally. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. We look forward to that day. Right, Carol? Right. Can't wait to hug you, Sunshine. Yes. Too. yes, and this is the email. Thank you, Teresa Castro. Info at spiritist.us. Thank you. So, Beautiful friends, don't forget, we are only seven days away yeah. from this 12th U.S. Spiritist Symposium. We can almost hear the fireworks <laughs> in the city. It's an Independence Day of the Spirit coming okay. to town. <laughs> yes, it is, right? Yeah. So tomorrow, hopefully, we'll be back for another countdown of the 12th. U.S. Spiritist Symposium. Thank you, Sunshine. Thank you, Carol. Thank, Thank you, friends. And Bye. next time. Bye-bye.